Good evening and welcome to another vlog. Now I've come down to a location I've shot before in the past here. It's around about sunset now. I've decided to come down after work so I've not had a massive amount of time to play with. Um, you probably know it already from the B-roll but I've come down to Start Point Lighthouse. Um, this has recently been converted, this lighthouse, to a static light. It used to be revolving until uh, last summer, so I've never actually been down here with the static light on it, so it might be a bit more boring to shoot at night now. We did have some really nice high-level wispy clouds, which you can probably pick up here, um, which were over the direction of the lighthouse about an hour ago, but unfortunately um, most of those have kind of disappeared now. So we've not really had any sunset nice colours that I was hoping for. Saying that, I am going to be here tonight. Sunset is at half six in the morning, so I should be able to get down here, uh, get some uh, shots around sunset, see if there's any difference. That'll be in a different vlog um, and still give myself time to uh, kind of get to work in the morning. So hopefully if I don't get any good shots tonight, uh, I'll get some good shots in the morning. Um, so what I've kind of uh, resigned myself to doing now is because I didn't really get that light I'm just going to wait for a bit longer until the sun has kind of set down probably about half an hour after sunset and I'm going to try and do some blue hour shots here now I've got a polarizer on at the moment but that probably won't stay on that'll probably come off um, in the blue hour depending on how much reflections I get from the water I wouldn't have thought it's going to make much difference to be honest um, when that light has gone when the sun is kind of ducked behind the, uh, the horizon there you can just see the uh, lighthouse actually coming on now it's a bit dim still but you can see it flashing away uh, which you should do any minute there you go so now it's just kind of like a static um, kind of modern light on there it's a bit boring you used to get some nice images of it sweeping across um, the cliff here. Um, I'm going to be shooting with the 16 to 35 mil lens on this. Uh, it's a very wide shot you need down here. You can go tighter to the um, lighthouse, but I always think it looks quite nice down here with this um, cliff. You've got these really cool um, kind of ridgeway here and these patterns either side. Um, and it's always nice to just shoot um, landscapes and portraits down that ridge line there. So I'm shooting with a hard grad on as well because the composition I have, which again, you can probably pick out, sorry to keep on spinning you around, um, allows me to take that kind of shot right down here, kind of to the edge of the horizon and also not cap out, not darken that um, lighthouse because it is below the horizon there. So I can use a hard grad really easy to bring that sky down. There is a tiny bit of a pink hue haze in there at the moment, which I'm using to try and get a bit of colour in the sky. I don't think that's going to improve from now on. I think all the, all the colour's gone. Um, the shots I'm doing at the moment, um, if you're interested before I kind of go into the blue hour stuff, are shooting at um, an f-stop of f14. That's going to allow me to get everything sharp throughout the scene, especially on a wide angle lens like this. It's going to make it really sharp. And I'm also shooting at an ISO of 50, and that is giving me a 30th of a second exposure now, which is too long, really. It's going to take out any of that effect in the, the water. It's really going to um, kind of get rid of it or make it too smooth, in my opinion. I want a bit of drama there. We don't have much wind today, so anything I can do to add to that, that sea, the drama I have to do, which means I can't really do too much of a long exposure. So I'm probably going to be adjusting that now up to an ISO of uh, 200. He's going to give me a 10 second exposure at F14. So I might even lower that down to F11 just to get that down to um, say six, seven seconds or something like that. Uh, that's all there is to say about the scene really. Um, it's a cool place. I did bring the drone and I was hoping to get it in the air. I might give it a, another go now, but I couldn't actually find the, uh, the micro SD card for it. I assumed it was in it. I dragged it down here. I've not used it for about five months. I don't know where it is. I'm going to root from a camera bag. If I can find uh, the micro SD card, you'll know by now because you would have seen the footage, although it will be a bit dark. Um, but I'm going to give that a try now. I'm going to hang around, get a few images that I can like this. I'll flash them up and I'll come back to you a bit later on and we'll just see how they compare with the ones from now to the ones in the blue hour. See what drama we can get, see what the sea looks like, 
see if we can get some of these cool lights off the lighthouse without it becoming overexposed on the image. And I'll catch up with you uh, in a few minutes. Right, it's well into the blue hour now. Forgive me if my filming's a bit off. I can't see, I'm just getting blinded by this light. Now, it's very, very dark now, and I've been doing quite a lot of blue hour, kind of even probably past the blue hour shots here. Um, I've been continuing to do panoramic stitches. I won't bore you to death by me doing them now because they're about 30 seconds each image just because it is so dark now. And I'm having to shoot at an ISO of 640, uh, uh, aperture of 7.1, so a very low aperture and quite a very high ISO. Uh, the 60 is pretty good at low light photography. Um, the noise isn't too bad on it and being a full frame, it does cope relatively well. So I know those images aren't going to be too bad um, generally it, when you print or if they went onto canvas they would be fine now I'm doing the left to the right stitch again it's coming out quite nicely um, probably shooting around about 20 mil again on the lens I would have a look at it but I will not be able to see what it's on I'll just get blinded by this light and it's so dark um, but that is uh, giving me quite a nice image it's given me a zoomed in ish version of the lighthouse and by doing that panoramic sweep from left to right I'm being able to fill the frame wider obviously now it is a very nice night very clear skies it's only a quarter of a moon probably a 20% something like that so um, I'm hopefully might even get a bit of the Milky Way out tonight and I have looked at probably my favorite uh, space app Stellarium and it does show <laughs> about half two in the morning um, I'm nuts that this um, bit here behind the lighthouse might have a bit of the Milky Way in it so I'm probably going to come back here a bit later and try and get that image see if I can get a cool Milky Way shot behind it I'll regret it in the morning 100% but if I can get one here I think it will look really really cool um, I might have to flash the lighthouse with a bit of light to light it up at night Hopefully there's no one in it. I know it's automated, but if there is someone staying in it or someone in there, he's gonna think some nutters uh, on the cliff flashing a light at them. But I'm hoping no one's in there so I can kind of get away with doing that and get a, a really cool image. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it really. It's very, very dark and I am getting some really nice blue Irish shots, really nice kind of blue tones and mood through it. Gone are the kind of soft um, pink purple hues that we had earlier around sunset and it's been replaced with the kind of moody blue blue shots you expect around there hope you've enjoyed this vlog um, have a look at the images between sunset and now see which ones you prefer there's going to be quite a lot of difference between the ones um, uh, around sunset and the ones in the blue hour sorry my hands a bit shaky I'm unable to use the the gimbal when I'm filming this I'm having to have the the phone tethered to my charger as well because the kind of cold weather is killing the battery but yeah, see, see what you think about those two images. Uh, let me know which ones you prefer. Drop a, a comment in the, the box below. Let me know. Um, hopefully I'll get some more compositions. If not, um, I'll catch up with you on the next vlog, which will probably be this location, either uh, a sunrise, which I'm going to be here in the morning for, or a Milky Way um, shot. See which one uh, you prefer from today. If you want to check the future ones out, please do. If you have any comments or want to give it a like, please do. And I'll catch up with you on the future vlogs. Mm -hmm.